Hey guys, Classic Arm here. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. So, oh, damn it, I moved the control stick. Sam was actually doing something cool with her gun, because I sat around too long. So, I'm not back in Fendrana, I'm here. That's because we can actually do something in this room with the double jump and boost ball we couldn't do before. So, kind of forgot about that. Not to mention, uh, well, you can get through this area a lot faster now that you have those two items. And so I decided to just try and be a little more reckless and run right through everything without bothering bothering to stop and kill the tough enemies. Yeah, those turrets down there, um, they shot the living hell out of me. And here's our first one of these nifty little items that we're going to have to collect throughout the entire game. The Chozo Artifacts. There are 12. This is the first one we picked up. It's the second in the list. And I'll have more on that kind of thing later, because, well, it is kind of the in-game content thing. It's like collecting all the Triforce pieces at the end of Wind Waker, but not quite that annoying. I don't think it's as bad. Then again, I didn't think that the Triforce pieces were really that bad, because you got the chart from Tingle, which tells you where you can find all the other charts. Just go there and do the, like, one task at that island and or place. The only one that's kind of hard to get is the ghost ship one, but whatever, you can get that too. People complain about that for whatever reason. It's not that bad. I just would have rathered more dungeon. In fact, I'd have rathered a slight rehashing of Zelda 1, where you pick up the Triforce pieces in the dungeons. That would have been cool with me. And then there could have been, like, all this intrigue and story about it, and... Ah! Missed opportunity. Oh well, maybe they'll do it later. Probably not. No one steals my ideas for good video games. So, now that we're back in Fendrana, we can do other nifty things. Particularly, we can, you know, double jump around, so... Screw doing your paths and walking around stuff, I can just jump right up here. Nice shortcut. And... Hmm... I want to do stuff over there, but I don't think I can yet. Actually, this should give me a... Hmm, maybe I can do stuff over there. Yeah, actually, I kind of have to do stuff over there, don't I? Okay, we're going to go do stuff over there, then. Just need to find a good way to jump over there. Without, you know, landing in the ice-cold water. There we go. We'll just strafe jump around. Make sure I can land where I want to. Walk past that one. Roll between this one's legs. You know, the way I deal with Ganon. And... Yeah, that's right, this is totally where we need to go. Well, that guy is going to... Actually, I don't think that she got it's going to get very much done down here. I'm already out of its range. Or at least have barriers between me and its shots. So I may as well be out of its range. Although I think I am coming up to a relatively difficult boss fight. Which is probably bad considering my current amount of energy. Guess I should have gone to a save room. Oh well. I think I'll be okay. Well, uh, you have all these uh, Shozo head structures, and you can get rid of this one with the missile. The others are indestructible, but you don't need to worry about them anyway. And <clears throat> I haven't mentioned it before, but all the uh, things you can destroy, like all the materials they're made out of have different names, and each one corresponds to the kind of weapon you have to use on it. So, yeah, I probably should have been explaining that all the way through, but you can really tell what needs to have what used on it. If it's low on the ground, you have to bomb it. Although, there's, uh, there's some things that you can only use, you know, really powerful stuff on. You might not realize it. 
so that was what brimstone I think that takes missiles it might take missiles or bombs yeah this room this will be fun so here is a nifty item that I really want however you can't get it yet <clears throat> First, you have to do an obligatory boss fight! I feel with all these Shigas that I've been avoiding till now because they're annoying. Just missile spam in the butt. Yes, I said butt, not ass. It's because butt was funny. Ah! Hopefully, that kills that one without, you know, leading the. Oh, it did kill it. However, the next one froze me. Now, it may not look too bad, because, you know, there's only two of these guys left. And if I could get my missile span to work, then I'd be doing a little better. But, yeah. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Let's just say that. No, quit looking at me. I want them to face away from you. It's like the anti boos And, yeah... Once all four of those down, this happens. And this is uh, a bad situation. Let's see if I can't get some energy out of this. 20, that's something. So, let's go ahead and scan. Whoa, no, don't step on me. Okay. Shiga, they absorb the stuff you shoot at them. There's basically two ways to take care of this. Uh. If I was playing on normal, I would be doing the uh, more dangerous but probably quicker way. However, I'm not playing on normal and I don't have full health. So, totally not going to do the crazy dangerous way. And as you can see, it does in fact draw in your uh, beams. But once it does that, you just unload missiles on its face. So, basically just... Uh, why is it floating? Okay, never mind. It's not floating anymore. I thought I got it to glitch out and like hang up in the air. Crap. Wall. And don't get hit by that ice breath. Be like the exact opposite of what you want. Unload missiles! The alternate way to fight this would be to roll up into a ball and lay bombs underneath it. Which works really well when you can afford to take the damage. Unfortunately, I can't, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, you just kind of have to keep doing this for a while. I should probably be a little more conservative with my missiles, because once I'm out, I'm not going to have much of a way to deal damage to it. And I get two shots off. That should be pretty good. I want to make sure I don't get hit anymore. Although, I, I did gain health since coming in here, didn't I? Wasn't I at less than this? I don't know. I wasn't paying too much attention to it. I just knew I was not in the best of uh, conditions for a boss fight. Yeah, I'm going in here anyway. <clears throat> and this is taking longer than I would like. Come on. Let's finish this up. Die, 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 die. Come on. One, I'm not getting my uh, missile spam to work the way I want it to. Because I'm not getting quite enough shots off. Oh, I thought I killed it. And what's really annoying about the Shigoths is that later on, there'll be normal enemies in some rooms. So, yay, fun. No oh, crap, almost got hit. Good thing Samus is really good at strafing when, uh, you know, you have double jump. Because you just target and push left or right and hit jump twice, and you'll just basically circle the enemy. At least do, you know, get 90 degrees around them. Need to pick up the nifty item before we leave. Ah, finally, a new gun. We get the Wave Beam. Which is completely different from how it's been in the other Metroid games up to this point. 
because now it is basically a electric beam, which is kind of cool with me. In fact, I like what they do with the Metro Prime beams, making them all different elements. I mean, it seems like a pretty good way to go. Something different. Since, I guess you could have all the beams work at the same time, but, nah, we already did that. I I'm glad they tried something new. And what's really nice about the wave beam is that it homes in. So it's like a missile shot, but not a missile shot. Also, I didn't know that guy was there. I'm kinda lucky I didn't get hit by him. Just head back on down. The She-Goth is gone. Weird. But yeah, this is the only thing that can take out these guys, and you may as well just use a charge shot on them. Makes it easier to get through here. I'll be a little more dangerous if you're, uh, you know, not being at least somewhat careful, because those guys will home in on you. And there's a lot of stuff we can do now that we've got the wave beam. Basically, any purple door can be opened. And I'm at a loss for where to go exactly, I think. Yeah, I guess I just have to go to the only purple door in the area. That would make sense. Ow. Crap. Now this area is full of baby she -gots. Which, you know... I didn't like fighting them before, now that I've fought their mom boss thing, I really don't want to fight them. So, let's just continue avoiding everything that I don't want to deal with. Crap. And that's exactly why you don't forget to not charge. <clears throat> and so now that we've got uh, the double jump, we can actually do the things in here. Just gotta jump up to here. More Chozo lore if you care. Get rid of all these guys that are in the way. And now I can shoot this slag fight and bring it down. Or maybe it's just a little lag might, I don't know. I used to know how to tell them apart and I forgot the little rhyme that they taught you in, you know, elementary for it. And if you care any at all about scans, I think this is the only point in the game that you can get this one. Which is the Ice Shriek Bat. So, I don't care about getting the scans, but for anyone who does, uh, Make sure to scan them from about where I did before you run forward. Because once you get to a certain point in the game, I don't think that they'll respawn. In fact, they might not even respawn now. So, you know, if you want it, go ahead and get it. Ah, uh, falling beetles of doom. And, uh, I guess they aren't here yet. Okay. I was thinking that I was going to have a fun fight in this room. Let's see what happens when I do this. Ah, it opens those. So let's do the same on the other side. Not too difficult a puzzle here, but it's worth doing, and it's not hard to do. In fact, I think you kind of have to do it. Just saying, it's not too bad. Once you bring all that stuff down, the Morph Ball Bomb Activator activates. I, I don't know what to call it. It probably actually has a name, I just, you know, didn't scan it. Actually, I think they're just called Bomb Slots. Anyway, it activates, you get in there, you set the bomb off. Water starts pouring in here, which, you know, thankfully, we're in a super awesome spacesuit that won't take damage from the fact that it's really cold. Otherwise, you know, we might be screwed because of this. And we are supposed to continue going up, but I want this. No, get in there. There we go. And we get another energy tank. So, woo, bully for us. Come right back out here into the water. 
which is already draining down. <coughs> so, yeah, you just need to get back up there, make the water pour in again, and fall down because I wasn't sure if I landed or not. Apparently I double jumped when I was going to fall anyway. I didn't correct myself. There we go. Oh god. I hate this weather. Well actually, right now it's raining and I like rain. I just hate all the everything else that's going on. Oh, maybe it's a pollen allergy that's... No! Ah, crap. What sucks about this is I don't have a way back up until the water comes down. Which means I have to wait for that, and then do it again. And I can't even make it up on top of this ledge. That's how bad the water affects you in this game. I wonder what, what would happen if I stood under that as it came down. I don't really feel like testing out right now. Because it probably, like... It either just pushes you out of the way, or does a crap ton of damage while maybe pushing you out of the way. I know the uh, <clears throat> little piston elevators in the Chozo Ruins, if you are too close to one of them that has like a lip overhang on it, you will actually take a tiny bit of damage and it'll just go right back up instead of, you know, continuing all the way down. No, don't push me off. Those enemies are kind of annoying. You can barely do anything about them right now. Alright. So, now we have finally made it up here to another save room and another good stopping point for the video. So, I'm going to see you guys next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime, in which we're going to uh, do some really crazy crap because we're going to assault a pirate base, basically. All alone! Go us. Samus is a badass. See you guys later.